heart diseases, cancer, eczema, psoriasis, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, depression, and many, many others. Is there any common factors between the frequency of these disorders and the deficit of omega-3 fatty acids in the general population? The answer is certainly yes. within the Kingdom of Denmark. A young Danish doctor, Dr. Dyberg, wanted to understand how the Greenland Eskimo could eat a high-fat diet and still have one of the lowest death rates from cardiovascular disease on the planet. And human heart diseases. And it was strange that a group of Danes, the Eskimos living up there north, uh, living from a fatty diet uh, had a low occurrence of heart disease from from the cold seas. So they the Eskimos ate uh, uh, what we were told at least uh, a high fat diet. And how come that a population with a high fat diet could have a low number of coronaries? Because we knew at that time too that a high fat diet increase your blood cholesterol and that should be deleterious uh, uh, regarding mm -hmm. to occurrence of coronaries. So what was that enigma? In the island of Okinawa, the population holds the absolute world record of longevity. Their calendar may say they're 75 or 80, but their body says they're 50. And the most impressive part of it is that a good lot of them are healthy until the very end. Over 70% of Okinawan centenarians are still functioning independently at age 97. That's 97% of their life has been healthy. And here we have a society that has a the lowest, it seems, of everything, the longest lifespan, the lowest breast cancer, the lowest prostate cancer, the lowest colon cancer, the lowest coronary heart disease. So those kinds of things fascinate me. How could you be low in almost every single disease and have this incredibly long lifespan? I am amazed by those statistics because if, if we lived in the West, more like the Okinawans, you could probably close down 80% of the coronary care units, one third of the cancer wards, and a lot of nursing homes would be out of business, simply because these people are so healthy. In the Greek island of Crete, the difference in health between the population and the rest of the world is remarkable. Compared to the American, for example, they had half of the cancer death rate and an amazing one twentieth of the mortality from coronary heart disease. So what is the common link? One, very low incidence of heart diseases. Two, good general health. And three, an almost arrogant longevity. Why? experts agree because of a high consumption of omega-3 fatty acid. Why omega-3 is so important for our health? The good fats influence every aspect of our life from the beating of our heart to the ability to learn and to memorize. Omega-3 is a special fat. We call it essential fatty acid because the body cannot manufacture it and it has to come every day from the food that we eat. Omega-3 
has a big fat brother, Omega-6. And they are competing all the time in all aspects. 20,000 years ago, the competition was fair because the forces were equal. A ratio of one omega-3 to one omega-6. And our cells membrane could manage the pro and the com of both brothers. Today, it is a disaster. There is in our cells membrane sometimes 100 more omega-6 than omega-3, thanks to the food industry. Omega-6 big bad brother being always the winner and the consequences are devastating. Cardiovascular, inflammatory diseases, depression, and many other diseases due mainly to chronic inflammation. The good news is that by taking regularly omega-3 and by reducing significantly our consumption of omega-6, we can reduce the symptoms, sometimes reverse the disease, and always prevent in good proportion from most chronic inflammatory diseases. Here in late 2007, and what I found is very, very interesting that we actually need the omega-3s from the moment of conception all the way through to old age. These are substances that are orthomolecules. They are molecules orthodox to the body as defined by Professor Linus Pauling. These are substances that have been with us since the beginning of life. And they have a wide range of benefits, uh, fundamental bases of action in the very early brain, in the developing brain, at the time of birth, and all the way through youth and into old age. These are substances that are indispensable for the development of optimal brain function and for the prevention of premature cognitive decline and for everything in between. They're also very, very important for mood and for mood control and for behavior. We need omega-3 all over our life, including at the preconception, from the time that we decide to have a child. And so, for the sperm to fertilize the egg, the membrane has to be really, really fluid. The sperm has to be able to swim as fast and as long as it can, so it needs very high membrane fluidity. And then for the egg to receive the sperm, also requires high membrane fluidity and the omega-3s are in the middle of all of this story. Studies has revealed that omega-3 is vital for the fetus to develop its brain. This could explain the scientists findings that oily fish is important for pregnant women. What we found was that mothers who hadn't eaten oily fish when they were pregnant had children whose vision was slightly less developed at the age of about three than mothers who had eaten oily fish when they were pregnant. And similar results were found looking at the child's language development in early childhood. Women who hadn't eaten oily fish in pregnancy had children who were using slightly fewer words than women who had eaten oily fish. Another unique feature about the brain is that our nerves are especially rich in omega-3. So, does omega-3 help humans learn and remember? Before the trial started, Matthew described himself as a child who had problems concentrating, didn't finish his work, was generally in trouble most of the time. That was in school and, um, and at home. Um, since he's been taking the supplements, he describes himself as being very different. He's able to finish work. His concentration has improved. His attention to detail is greater and certainly we've seen improvements in his reading and spelling abilities. The results are now in and they have exceeded my expectations. Children who were already functioning well above their ages, for example, I have an eight-year-old child who was reading at the 13 and a half year level. Three months into the trial, he was reading at the 17 year level. Certainly, the trend is suggesting that children of all abilities are achieving their full potential. 
The scientific community has recognized that consumption of omega-3 from fish oil has significant cardiovascular benefits and the number of large studies demonstrating the positive effect of omega-3 is now overwhelming. I think we're pretty confident now that in populations who are at high risk of heart disease that consuming oily fish once or twice a week does reduce the risk of sudden death. There are very good data from epidemiologic studies that suggest that people who have more fish in their diet and have high levels of omega-3 fatty acids within their bloodstream or in their blood cells are at actually lower risk of having uh, heart attacks and strokes. I overused my joints and ended up with some joint problems of significant degree. It was actually recommended to have a total knee replacement. Uh, I took so much Advil that I got an ulcer from it. I started on that, and sure enough, I was able to get off of the, the Celebrex, the Advil, the ibuprofen, and, and all the non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Is that patients with high levels of omega-3 fish oil in the blood appear to have a slowing of the biological aging process. It's a risk-free way of potentially extending lifespan and reducing disability. So, what is important concerning omega-3? We have heard from experts that this essential fatty acid is simply essential for life simply essential for health and well-being. Omega-3 is for everyone from the conception to the elder age and Omega-3 is simply timeless to be enjoyed all your life, every day of your life. Thank you.